Welcome to the Commonwealth Workforce Development System Simulation for Managing and Updating an Individual Employment Plan and Individual Service Strategy IEPISS, NCWDS 2.0 for a non-youth participant. This simulation includes audio. Please take a moment to adjust your volume. This simulation for staff users provides an overview of how to manage an IEPISS in CWDS 2.0, using the scenario of an adult worker, who receives services through Labor Exchange and Title I. By the end of the simulation, you will be able to access an active IEPISS for a participant, add an objective to an existing goal, add planned services, authenticate the IEPISS, barriers, and objectives and update planned services and an objective status. NCWDS 2.0 PA Career Link Case Managers and Career Planners will have the system role of Objective Manager. An Objective Manager is a staff user who has the ability to create and manage an IEPISS and all of its elements, for example, barriers, interests, objectives, etc. This term is specific to CWDS 2.0 and does not reflect nor have any impact on your professional title within your organization. Let's begin. When you initially log in, the CWDS staff homepage displays. The IEPISS functionality for workforce participants resides on CWDS 2.0. Press CWDS 2.0. The CWDS 2.0 home screen displays. To access a participant's IEPISS, perform a participant search or case search. Press participant search. Enter the participant's details, such as their name, SSN, participant ID, phone number, or email, to perform the search. For the simulation, the participant is Robert M. Adams, participant ID. 3893721 Press search A list of participants displays Find the participant from the list of results Select the participant's name to access the IEPISS via the participant summary screen Or when an active IEPISS exists for the participant Press the More Actions menu to access the View IEPISS Quick Link. Press View IEPISS. The IEPISS for the selected participant displays in View Only mode. To make changes to the participant's plan, enter Edit mode. Press Edit IEPISS. Scroll down through the plan to review information previously entered by yourself or another staff user as necessary before making additions or revisions. In this example, a progress note was already entered into this IEPISS by another staff user. Also, a barrier and an interest were already documented for this participant by another staff user. Furthermore, current skills and employment details were previously added to this plan. Another staff user previously added the goal of employment, with an objective and planned services. When the goal of which you plan to add already exists, do not add a duplicate goal. Instead, add the objectives and planned services to the existing goal. Press Add Objective. The Objective Details window displays. Input the required details, and then save. Press the Program drop-down menu. Select WIOA, Adult, 18 or Older. Press the Case drop-down menu. The Case drop-down menu populates with the cases associated to the selected program. Select the appropriate case for this objective. Press the Objective Manager drop-down menu. The Objective Manager drop-down menu is populated with a list of individuals who are assigned the role of AP Case Manager and are associated with an office in your local workforce development area. Select an appropriate Objective Manager. Enter the remaining required fields, and then press Save. For the purpose of the simulation, the fields will be pre-populated for you. 
press the yes or no radio button to identify if participant and staff authentication is required. When yes is selected for participant authentication required. The required staff authentication required prompt displays. Note, selecting yes will trigger the signature function at the bottom of the IEPISS screen. Press yes. If your program guidelines require follow-up after participation ends, do not respond to the objective MEC question until all program services are delivered. When this question is answered for all objectives on the IEPISS and all required authentications are provided, the IEPISS automatically closes. Press Save. The confirmed WIS02 service window displays. To add this automated service to the participant service record, select the funding stream and press Yes, Add Service. Note, completion of the Education and Employment Status screen may be required following this window. Select the appropriate funding stream for WIS02. After selecting the appropriate funding stream, add the service to the participant service record. Return to the Goal Details section. Once the objective is added to the IEPISS, proceed to adding the applicable plan services. Press Add Plan Service. The Plan Service window displays. Search for, select, or manually add a service that will help the participant to reach his or her objective. For this example, the service code used is WIS05. Note. Plan services should be selected and chosen according to policy or operational consideration. Enter WIS-05 in the search bar. Press Search. Select the applicable service from the results. Complete the required fields, and then press Save. Or, to add additional plan services for the objective, press Save and add another. For the purpose of the simulation, the dates will be pre-populated for you. Press Save and add another. The plan service window refreshes. Repeat the previous steps to add a plan service and press Save, or Save and add another. For the purpose of this example, the WTS01 service code will be used. Press Search. Press Select. For the purposes of the simulation, the start date and estimated end date will be entered for you. WTS01 is a training service and must have subsequent training details added. Each program has a unique catalog of services. If the catalog has a training service category, only that category will enable training details to be added. In this example, any plan service in the training services category will enable training details to be added to the chosen service. Press Save and add training. The training program window displays. Enter the training program that is applicable to the participant and the objective. For this example, CDL training will be added. Enter CDL. Press Search. Class A CDL Driving is the applicable training for this example. Press Select. Enter any applicable comments and save the added training program to the IEPISS. Press Save. The IEPISS screen displays. To view the added plan services, expand the objective. Press the plus button. Verify that all added plan services appear and were recorded properly. For the purpose of the simulation, an additional plan service, WIS18, was added. If additional plan services are needed, press add plan service and repeat the previous steps. When finished verifying the newly added plan services, continue on to the authentication section. 
The authentication section is the last section of the IEPISS. If confirmation, validation, and or verification of the accuracy of the agreed upon IEPISS details, for example, barriers, and or objectives, is necessary, the staff user may request authentication of these details. Any requested authentications may be performed by adding electronic signatures of the participant, responsible party, and or staff to the IEPISS, indicating all associated parties approve the IEPISS details. Parties may add their signatures to the IEPISS using the Add Signature buttons. To add the participant signature to the IEPISS, press Add Signature for the participant signed on field. The date will automatically update when the signature is added. Note, if the participant is not present to provide authentication, they will be notified to log into PA Career Link to view the changes and add their signature. Press Add Signature for the participant signed on prompt. The Add Electronic Signature window displays. To add a signature to the IEPISS, use the mouse to enter a signature and then press Add. If the signature is unclear or not representative, press Clear to remove the signature and try again. Press Add to add Robert signature. When your signature as the objective manager is required for a barrier or objective, the Add Signature button displays in the Authentication History section. Repeat the previous steps to add your electronic signature to each objective or barrier, when required. For the purpose of the simulation, this step will be completed for you. Once all required signatures are added to the IEPISS, press the Save button. If needed, press Export IEPISS to view a PDF version and or to print the IEPISS for the participant. Return to the top of the IEPISS to the Progress Notes section. Progress Notes may only be added to the IEPISS for a program after an objective has been created for the program. Progress notes entered on the plan are viewable by other objective managers who are also working with the participant. Any progress notes added on the IEPISS are automatically added to the associated case progress notes, as well. Press Add Progress Note. The IEPISS progress note window displays. Select the associated case that aligns with the progress note. Press the case drop-down menu. Select Workforce slash WIOA, Adult, 18 or older. For the purpose of the simulation, the remaining required information will be pre-populated for you. Press Save. The progress note has been added to the participants IEPISS. In Part 2 of the simulation, you will revisit the IEPISS for the non-youth participant. Time has passed and the participant has received planned services and attained his GED. This portion of the simulation provides an overview of the steps to take to update a planned service to a delivered service and mark the objective status as met or not met. After accessing the active IEPISS for the participant, scroll down to the Goal Details section. To transition a planned service to a delivered service, Expand the appropriate objective to view and edit the planned service. Press the plus button. Press edit for the applicable planned service. The planned service screen displays. To update a planned service to delivered, update the appropriate fields, and then select the applicable status from the status drop-down menu. Press the calendar to add an actual end date. Select an end date. Press the Status drop-down menu. The following three statuses enable adding the service to the service record, completed, partially completed successful, and partially completed unsuccessful. Select Completed. Add the planned service to the service record to enter the service authorization screen and record the service as delivered. Press Save and Add to Service Record. Pressing Save and Add to Service Record will display the Service Authorization screen in CWDS. The Service Authorization screen displays. 
continue through and update the information on the screen and any following screens where necessary, to confirm delivery of the service. Upon completion, press save and finish to return to the IEPISS in CWDS 2.0. The IEPISS displays. Return to the Goal Details section. Expand the objective to confirm the service has been recorded as delivered. Press the plus button. The service has been delivered and appears on the service record. Repeat these steps for any remaining planned services. When all the planned services, which could include follow-up services, have been delivered for the objective, edit the objective status to mark it as met or not met. Press Edit. The Objective Details window displays. Press the Yes or No checkbox to respond to the Objective Met question. Press the Yes checkbox. Add an actual end date for when the objective was met. Press the calendar to add an actual end date. The Goal Achieved question displays when you identify whether or not the objective was met. Answer yes or no to identify if the goal was achieved through this objective. Robert has not yet achieved his goal of employment. Select no for this question. Press the no checkbox. When no has been selected for goal achieved, a comment must be added. For the purposes of the simulation, the comment will be pre-populated for you. Press the calendar to add an actual end date. Save to continue. Return to the Goal Details section to verify the objective has been recorded as met. The objective status has been updated. This concludes the simulation for managing and updating an individual employment plan and individual service strategy, IEPISS, NCWDS 2.0 for a non-youth participant. For more information on how to access and use the IEPISS functionality in CWDS 2.0, please visit the CWDS Help Center to access and review any of the training resources identified below.